Hi, Otis. What are you doing? Did you just get done using your Litter Robot 3 with the connect that doesn't work downstairs? Oh boy. No, it's not for you. The kitty overlords are saying, get out of here, doggy. Okay, so we're going to have a follow up on how my experience has been for the last year using the Litter Robot 3. Uh, I've actually had a couple of people ask for follow up videos, so why not do one? Uh, overall, my experience, I would say, has been good. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I'm going to say that I don't know if there's a way to really overcome with the product itself uh, and give you some advice as to what litter you're going to want to uh, use, because I will tell you that there is a difference in the in the various litters as to how uh, as to how well they work or not work at all. So um, I'm going to talk about that with you here in a second. Um, I'm going to tell you this. Don't spend the extra money for the Litter Robot Connect. It doesn't work. I've done everything I can. I've got my modem directly uh, next to the, the Litter Robot itself, and it just, no matter what, it doesn't work. And I've tried getting hold of Litter Robot's customer service, which frankly is probably about as bad as Gigabyte's customer service. Sorry, but it's true. Uh, it just is what it is. I guess we're going to just stay at the back. So let's go downstairs and take a look at the uh, Little Robot 3 and I'll show you what's been good and what's not. Here we are. Uh, oh, hi Bauer. How are you? You want to take a look? Oh, did you go to the bathroom? Okay, here we go. Good example. See, now they used it and it is working. It's doing its thing. So it went all the way around, dumped everything, and now it's cycling the clean stuff back in and should balance out here in a little bit. I'm gonna point out a couple things. One, you can see they just used it. I just cleaned it. I don't know how they drag so much litter out of the box, but they do. I am constantly cleaning all of this. It doesn't matter how big the mat is or anything. There is, ends up being litter everywhere. And I'm not sure if you can really see here, but even they'll jump up there and it'll have it. So anyway, as you can see, it is cycling back now after one or I'm not sure which one used it, but they ended up using it. So it works well. Overall, I really like it. However, messy. I, I, there is no good way that I, I've come across to keep this whole area clean. I'm just constantly cleaning down here. But if that's the worst of it, then no big deal. Um, I have found that this litter Seems to be the best litter. Uh, I've tried a couple different uh, clumping ones and this one, one, uh, does not leave any cat odor around, if you will. And so when they go, uh, specifically number two, and since there are two cats, see, there's one over there and there's the other, I don't know what, uh, they're playing, they're doing something. But what are you doing, Bauer? Bauer, meow. Oh, yes, attack the kitties. Anyway, they, they like it, they like their area. They come in here and hang out all the time. So anyway, back to this. Um, everything works really well. I will tell you this, I had to completely disassemble this because at one point, and I'm gonna fix my, there we go. At one point, ooh, dusty. This thing kept getting locked up and it would just say um, uh, yellow, and it wouldn't do anything like it would everything would freeze up so i had to disassemble the whole uh i guess what do you want to call this the shell and which isn't hard to do you just kind of pop these out and basically put it back together and everything worked fine again um so yeah different clumping litter back to that uh this is the best litter that we've been able to use some of them didn't clump quite quick enough uh, which was interesting, and it would leave a mess down in the tray underneath. And, and again, the tray is under there. You just pull that out, this right here. And I'm not gonna do so because it's probably got a bunch of stuff in there that nobody wants to see on camera. Uh, and I change it probably twice a week. 
sometimes three times, just depends on how often they're going. Um, but th that litter does seem to work the best. I will say this, do not pay for the connect. It is a waste of money. It does not work. I have my router on the other side of this wall, right over here. Oh, there's my project. You notice something. I got my riser kit. So I'm gonna switch this from the horizontal that it is right now. I'm finally gonna get that finished up. I'm gonna do the um, vertical riser. Anyway, back to this. My modem is right there. So it doesn't matter what I do. I cannot get the connect to work and their customer service is about as bad as gigabytes. And that's saying something because it's, it's really rough. Um, <clears throat> so overall, and this isn't really meant to be much more than just a follow up. I like the fact that they can use this. I like the fact it keeps it clean, cleans itself, and it's very easy to change. You pull that tray out, you tie up the bag, you put a new bag in it, and you're, you're ready to go. I'm ordering that stuff probably once a month, maybe, maybe a little longer. I'd have to look at my order history. Uh, and again, that's the litter that works the best, uh, but I'm cleaning that constantly. It's annoying, but if that's the worst of it, then that's the worst of it. But most of all, they're happy. That's what matters. So yeah, I, I realize I'm rambling a little bit, but I mean, a follow-up video isn't gonna be anything amazing other than, again, I like the, the product. It is a lot of money. I'll show you that here. Uh, save yourself some money though. Don't buy the Connect. I know I've said that a few times, but it just really isn't worth the difference. Because one, it doesn't work. I mean, I've never gotten to work and their customer service just doesn't do anything to help it. And frankly, I don't see the point in me going, oh, I heck, I can't go downstairs and check the cat box every couple of days because I know that if I look in and the, that light's flashing, that I have to change it. Or if it's not flashing, I don't have to change it. Not real hard. I just don't think it's worth extra money. Uh, anyway, I am going to get back and finally finish up <clears throat> the uh, my uh, X. 570 build. I uh, got that riser kit in from Inwin like I just showed you. And I'm going to hopefully get that done here this next week. Uh, that is my goal. Uh, and then get that whole thing wrapped up. And we're getting ready for the 3000 series GPU launch from NVIDIA. So I'm hoping to be able to grab one of those cards uh, at the first available chance. And we'll start digging into some newer equipment here this uh, fall. Uh, this has been a very busy summer for me, so I'm sorry that I haven't gotten many videos out, but the reality is I've got, I had a, a job change, which that was a pretty big ordeal. I was off for three months after I lost my job to this whole COVID mess, but I'm back working, but that's been pretty darn busy. And yes, I'm working for Subaru. So pretty cool. I like the company. Um, which leaves the rest of my time spent between my kids, taking care of soccer, hockey, I mean, yes, we're in Minnesota and we play hockey around. Again, another is what it is thing. We love it up here. That's why it's called the state of hockey. And just between those sports alone, it's it's been pretty crazy. And then my two days off a week are spent with family and taking care of yard work. But now that the kids will be getting back into school, I will be able to start producing videos again. And I, hopefully it's a good comment. I would love to hear what you would like me to, to do some content on. You know, post down below. Let me know. Uh, I'm. That's what I'm about. This whole video was because I had a couple of people say, "Hey, we'd like a follow-up video on the iLitter robot, or the iRobot, or iLitter, I, whatever it's called, the Litter Robot Three. Three. I don't know how, how many fingers do I have. I do not know. I am very confused. Anyway, so I have happy kitties. That's what's important. I have a happy family. That's even more important. And now I'm going into the fall and should be able to get back to this. So. Hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me. If you didn't like it, uh, you know what else to do. I hope it's not bad. I mean, that, that's bad. We don't want that. Uh, hit the subscribe button for me and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.